All right, so we're start we're taking a look at St. Peter's Basilica. And then when you go to the second slide, you see a beautiful picture of the outside of the basilica with the dome and the arches and everything. St. Peter's Basilica was actually known as one of the holiest Catholic shrines um, and still is, and it's one of the hot spots for pilgrimages to visit as along with um, the Sistine Chapel and many other places around the world. It is also built on top of the burial site of St. Peter and it is also considered, um, since it's built on top of St. Peter's tomb, it is considered to be built on top of the rock, hence the rock, Peter being the rock of the church. Um, it is located in Vatican City where the Pope also res resides and it costed around uh, 46 million eight hundred fifty two eight eight hundred thousand fifty two ducats to be built which is a lot of money heading to the third slide we take a look at the dome not not even the not the dome yet but we take a look at the structure in the building and the creation and design that went into building the basilica um, the basilica, the basilica was designed by many people, but one of the main people um, included Michelangelo, which is a very famous Renaissance man and artist. Um, it was highly influenced, like I said before, it was highly influenced in architecture and design by the Renaissance period, which also ties into what we'll see later with the art and the sculptures. Um, the architects known to have worked on the, on the on it were Donato Bramante, Raphael, Antonio de, Sango, de Sangola, and like I said before, Michelangelo. It used to be one of the largest churches in the world, but in 1989, a church in Yamusakuru, Cote d'Avaux, had exceeded it in size, so had a long run. There is also a 96 foot tall Balladino, which was finished in 1964, which we'll see later on. And due to the bronze likely coming from Pantheon, which is a little fun fact, the majority of Italians were very critical of the structure. Now we move on to the fourth slide, and we now we get to the dome. The dome was actually very extremely intricate, um, intricately designed and worked on by Michelangelo. Um, the dome has been a fascination in architecture for centuries since it was created by the Romans. Um, he also worked and sculpted and painted many works, and some of the works were The Last Supper, The Pieta, and The David. And on the dome you can also find many, many different types um, of art on the top. If you look up at the dome, you'll see it. You can see flights of winged seraphs, angels looking down at St. Peter's tomb, as well as the figure of Christ, Christ's triumph with the apostles and Mary. Moving on to St. Peter's tomb. The St. Peter's tomb is home, of the, of, home to the remains of St. Peter. Um, do part of the original plan they had to actually knock down a lot and ended up burying I believe they buried a, um, a bit of St. Peter's tomb not realizing it while they were excavating it to make the foundation for the old St. Peter's Basilica. Around the world the tombs are actually considered the heart of the basilica uh, like I said before as it's known that St. Peter is considered the rock of the church since it was built on top of St. Peter's tomb again it is it's, that is why it's considered the heart of the basilica. St. Peter's tomb lies at the foot of the Edicula, and an Edicula is a small shrine used in ancient Roman religion, which was then adopted by the Christians. Um, in St. Peter's tomb as well, m m all the other popes, I believe, have been buried there um, going forward, which is frequently visited by churchgoers, Christians, and Catholics all alike, as well as the Pope that goes to pray to the um, past Popes as well. Moving on to the sixth slide, or the fifth slide, we have St. Peter's Baldachin, or Baldachino. 
St. Peter's baldachin is a large altar built to mark this mark St. Peter's tomb. Gian Lorenzo Bernini was actually the person who was commissioned by Pope Urban VIII um, to build it. The project took 12 years to complete and ended in 1634. And once it, um, it was finished, it was placed in the center crossing directly under the magnificent and great dome built by and painted by Michelangelo. Um, since it is mar it, it it is placed in the center crossing. It is also placed right above Saint Peter's tomb to mark his grave. Then we move on to the seventh or sixth slide. Um, Saint, and we're moving on to Saint Peter's Basilica's art. Michelangelo's Pieta pictures the the youthful Mother Mary holding her dead son Jesus Christ in her lap. This is a sculpture or a statue to depict the pain and the suffering that they both went through. This is also one of the only works Michelangelo famously ever signed. Then we also have Gian Lorenzo Bernini that had a a stat that had built a statue of Saint Lon Saint Longinus that stands over four meters tall. It depicts a Roman centurion that actually pierced Christ's side. Sculptures that sk stand guard over the crossing of Andrew, Helen, um, and Francesco Mochi's Veronica, which displays the Veronica veil, which also preserved the face of Christ. So these are just a couple of the um, beautiful and breathtaking pieces of art that are sprinkled throughout the Basilica of Peter.